Welcome back, guys. It's Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for some more horror in the channel. This time around, we are playing Summer of 58. This is uh, from the developer Amica Games. Um, they have also made uh, Find Yourself and Locked Out, I believe it's called. Uh, Find Yourself was, I think, the first... Might even be, like, one of the first horror games that I played on the channel. Uh, Find Yourself. Um available on Steam. I think right now it's on sale for like three bucks. Uh locked locked up is the other one that I'm thinking of. I do have that in my backlog of horror games to play through as well. Summer 58 is uh, available on Steam for about 10 bucks. Um there is not much of a uh synopsis. Uh, basically it just says summer of 2008, the main character at the request of followers, goes to Russia to explore an abandoned camp, Yunost. Locals say that the place is inhabited by restless souls. This will need to be checked. So, I feel like maybe you're uh, like a YouTuber or something like that, and, and you have a bunch of followers who are like, you need to go check out this, this camp. Um, so, we are going to jump right in. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. We are starting out. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton and we are getting started. Okay. My guess is this is like one of the houses that he's documented with video in the past. I'm not controlling this at the moment. Interesting. This doesn't really show us any sort of proof. It does remind me of Outlast, though. So I'm assuming that is going to be a common theme for this game. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to find an, going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. Okay. So we didn't actually find anything. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those, those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. Came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there's no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. Perfect. <clears throat> so, my guess is this is like a paranormal horror game. From the sounds of it. Amica Games presents. Take. Take. Russian English Dictionary. I was translating some Russian books in college and I took a Russian English Dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it on the local market. Okay. Well, this is never fun. Having to actually record this shit. <coughs> Excuse me. I am still kind of recovering from my bout of COVID. For whatever reason, I still have a weird cough. It's been like three weeks, so. Got that long COVID. everything. Are you? Pick you up? No. Oh. 
open any of these things. Here, I hear like a cat or something. Sounds like a cat bird. Did someone feed the cats here? There's definitely a cat. Oh, hey kitty. Wow. You hear a train in the background too. At least I think that's a, ch a train. Can't take those boards off. Can't take those boards off. Okay. Do here. What do you want? The beacock. This fuse is burned out. If I can find a spare one, I can turn on the lights. Okay. Looking for a fuse now, okay. Oh, what the hell is this? I kind of hate that. Do you have a fuse? No, I don't have the fuse. Can't steal it from there. Okay. What is this? Pioneer grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. The pioneer ringing march, we go to the aid of the elders. <clears throat> All right. Oh, something here. Okay. It's very dark in here, actually. Fuse is there? No. It's not a fuse. Oh, newspaper. 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. Shit. It's fucked up. There's cat- oh, there's two cats. I didn't even realize there was a cat right here. Use in here, maybe? No, I don't think so. What is this thing? Nothing. Okay. Go back here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. that sound. Is there an active military base nearby? Thank God I am fortunate enough to never actually have to hear that sound in real life. Oh. Little bun bun's gone. Pick this. No, can't pick it up. Oh, what's this thing? Nothing. Okay. Is this my sleeping bag? I brought a sleeping bag with me as I plan to spend a few nights here. Control, crouch to find hidden objects. Oh.
Well, that is annoying. It's going to tell us now about the crouch button. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. God damn. No thank you. Okay. Hello? What are you? Anything? Do nothing. Oh, what is this? It's nothing, also. <clears throat> things are anything. Okay. Oh, some candles and a picture. These candles will be useful when night falls. No notes as to what's going on there. Oh. He's there now. O okay. Bye. I'll, uh, see you around then. I can light the candles now. Okay. Ow. Do I have to crouch? Oh, I do. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Spread it out then, buddy. Uh, spread it. Bro. Oh, okay. We just had to walk to the right spot. Done. Need to prepare for the night. Okay. So far, not too bad. Night number one. I assume this is when it's going to actually get scary. Who the fuck that is? I already hate it. Got our little clock, our water, some toys. I'm just gonna take this again. Oh my god. There are dead crows in here. There's now a picture of an old ababushka. Who that is, lady? I don't know, like the cat. Okay, somebody killed the crows. Oh, you gotta open the door that way. Okay. There's nothing. Oh. There's our... Our buddy. Little Bonbon. Bon. I can't read what it says, I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Yo, motherfucker. I hate you. I hate you all. I hate you guys. Why oh, you gotta fuck with me, yo? I'm gonna grab my dictionary here. I need that for sure. Go read this shit. 
I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Okay. This is the one, same one that we were... Yeah. Same shit. Okay. What's going on in here, brother? Yo. Darker in here? I feel like it's darker in here than it was. Oh, you little shit. Yo. What is that sound? Sounds like somebody's, uh, somebody's. Doing something nasty in there, yo. Oh, shit. Shit's closed now. Yo, stop moving around. And we still can't pull the boards off at either of these doors. These are all names. Okay, they are children's names on the lockers. Oh god, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. What in the fuck is happening here? Oh, did I just get knocked the fuck out? God damn, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, my head. How did I get here? Good question, man. I need to find my video camera. Okay. Oh, we need to get our dictionary as well, apparently. Oh, somebody's feeding it seeds. What is this? Nineteen fifty-eight. Not sure what they're playing there, but my dude's not worried at all that he just got knocked the fuck out. It is. Okay. Let's pick this up first, maybe, and then read this. You're not welcome here. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Yo, bitch. I need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. Bro! Get fucked. Okay, so we've gotten all of the things in this room so far that I can see. Still looking for a fuse. Who the fuck said that?
Late at night, when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool, and the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness, the courtiers do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he, that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart. Plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Sounds like the person who got bullied. Yo! Shut up. Stop making so much damn noise. I hear somebody. Oh, we can take the shit off now. Absolutely boot it the fuck off there. Dude sounds totally exhausted. Just, oh, fuck. Holy shit. What, is that a dead body? Need to look this room. Well, I mean, that looks like just an animal's carcass, so... The director of the pioneer camp, Yunost, Maria... Antolievna A disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted, devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. I mean, that makes sense. It's like daycare. You know, kind of weird that we just meet somebody once and then assume they can take care of our kid for us. Supper. Doesn't work. Need to find the fuse. Right. We are still looking for the fuse. use there. That's the thing we found already. That. Take the hammer. It's probably what you whacked me with. The fuse is missing. Like there's something in here that we're missing, maybe. The footprints are like back there. Can't do anything there, so. There we go. Take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. 
That's what we're doing. Oh, brother. That looked like maybe the teacher. Is that the teacher? Teach? Okay, can we put this down? Where are we going to put it? Over here. Okay, cool. Take this guy. Put it over here. You know, I really don't like where this is going. Nope. I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. Why the- how the fuck are you gonna go sleep in this shit? There's no shot. At all. There is no way I'm sleeping with this creepy ass music going. You got the option to not sleep? Well, I guess we'll go to sleep. It's night number two. Let's do this thing. The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. This thing just records 24-7? There's no... No cord where it's plugged into. There's now a chair here. I don't think... Was that there before? Maybe I'm losing my mind. I, I might be losing it. There is a good, sh good shot that I am... Just losing it. Yo! Nobody's home! Get the fuck out of here. Oh, now it's- it's unlocked. Good. I hate it. Y Yo, man. Why are you doing this? I am 100% expecting to see somebody running by the door every single time. Already checked these things out. Already got that. It's this little guy. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> Yo, let... What just happened? I think I missed something important. The carcass being dragged out of the way. I hear some heavy breathing. This box wasn't here before. That's true. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. Yeah, wood. How are we gonna open it, though? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. There's spare light bulbs in the box. You know what? How about we just... Just get out of here. It's not important. Don't even know what fucking light bulb exploded.
Is somebody taking a leak? Oh god damn, that's... It's bright. That is very bright. Somebody peeing in there? Yo. Okay, so we... Is that the only light bulb we need to fix? Or are there multiple? It's already turned on. Okay, so how are we going to open this box? <clears throat> well, maybe we can go through this other door now. No. Yeah. Back to sleep, man. Oh, what is this thing? What is this box? No, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why didn't I expect that? What is this bullshit now? The fuck is this shit? Nah. Just gonna stay in here now. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is too much, man. Fucking game is too much. I'll just put it back. Got no candles, got no lights anymore. Got goddamn fucking ceiling demons and rabbit oh, rabbit children. And I'm gonna fucking shit myself. Got the heavy breathing. Got the fucking mouth breather over here. Yo, what's your problem? Stop breathing so damn loud. Okay, still can't open that shit. Oh, that is like somebody breathing right in my ear. I don't love that. Yo, rabbit boy. Changes in here, I don't think. All the fuses are there. Not sure why I can't turn on the lights. Director of the Pioneer Camp. Oh, we did this one already. Oh, what is this? One day, a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with him and even slept with him. You guys began to mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker. 
and in the coming night the hare came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. Jesus. Okay. Oh, now the door is closed. Lovely. Oh, shit, man. Some shit fell over. Where, where did it fall over? In here? Hello? Oh, what the hell was that? Just ex This key, I can open the box. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. Just blew out my fucking eardrums. God damn. What? Now what's gonna happen? Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I've been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay, that's it. Night of 58. This must be a flashback. After a severe thunderstorm, there's no light in the building. Ah, yes, it is a flashback. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant only. This will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself no matter what it takes. Oh, let's see where this is going. Doesn't work. Oh, wow. Scale? Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. anything with that. And actually step on the scale.
Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. The key to the safe. Is it safe somewhere? Oh, you filthy child. There's a safe in here. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. What nonsense is that? Special boy Yakov came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day will, has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories. While the counselors put them to bed, this can distract them. We work together with Alexei Sergeyev... Sergeyevich? Sergeyevich? In an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake, because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Sir. Oh, they're two different Alexei's? Ser Sergeyevich? Will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical re record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. God damn. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. You ruined my gas mask. What? Needs to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. Under which door? Under this door? So crazy. Ooh, what? Somebody fuck me up, yo. Oh, why did you do this? Why you do this, man? Weird. We had some sort of a flashback? Maria's diary. Our camera. Why can't we take our dictionary? It was very strange. You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. It's locked. There is someone behind it. Do we just go back to sleep? No. Gotta do some shit first.
Okay, we can't take the gas mask. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me. Who are you? Slide this under the door. Oh, this motherfucker. Why is he glowing? Oh, okay. Little fucker came out of nowhere. Should try writing the letter again. I read that people were Oh, read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. Tell me, bro. Rabbit buddy is gone. That. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Oh, hell no. Is your name Yakub? Have you been living here alone for many years? Here's a note, homie. Mother... Actually, a really good sound effect. Sound like somebody uh, really thumping along on some flooring. Pretty good, pretty good. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people. Will come for me. Oh shit. It's the bun bun. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Yeah, maybe just write out like all the questions you have. Do it all at once, you know? The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remain locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the doctor. Oh, what the fuck, man? Oh, 
all this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Somebody banging on the windows? Oh, God. I'll look. Just give me a second. Nobody there. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation only sometimes to go to the rooms. Oh, okay. That building abandoned. Can I get there? No wonder this game takes two hours. It's an hour and 40 minutes of writing fucking notes back and forth. Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. But how? Oh, you just walk up to them. You don't have to use any sort of uh, interact button. Perfect. Well, this is only going to get more and more terrifying, I'm sure. Night number three. Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. All right, I am actually going to cut the episode off here. We are now in the hospital, abandoned hospital. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut the episode off here so far. <laughs> A few really good jump scares. Um, not bad, it is, it is not too bad so far. I'm pretty impressed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you do leave a like. Let me know in the comment section what you think so far and uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Got a ton of content coming your way now that I am back up and running. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.